now you can check the preview for the image uh, I have used the same image for every tutorial because that uh, you can get the understanding uh, that the workflow with the same image so this is before and this is after now mm, I, I have come to the tone curve and uh, it is very similar to like uh, highlight light and dark and all four points like here uh, highlight shadow white and black points all points are working similarly like this point suppose I want to recover more shadows and uh, there I am already on the hundred and if you want to do uh, work with the more with the shadows then I will boost shadows from here you can see here like this if you want to recover more highlights so I'm already on the 100 minus 100 so I will reduce from here minus minus 18 and if I want to increase some light like this and so here is the result and you can see here this is before and this is after so beautiful result with a few tone curve adjustment and as well as the basic adjustment now click on here uh, if you click on uh, on here like uh, medium contrast and here are some presets with the with the tone curve and you don't need to uh, drag all points and you will get here some contrast point if you want strong contrast with the image then you can do and then medium contrast then linear contrast we usually don't use all these values because we uh, we use uh, for the specific uh, specific step like uh, if I want to boost some shadows I'm already on the shadows hundred so for this type of work I, I always use uh, tone curve so we don't usually uh, always tone curve if you use Photoshop then uh, you can uh, suppose I have put all values to zero if you work with the Photoshop then you will click here some point then you will get the same uh, diagonal line as well as here is no uh, four points like highlights and shadows and two others then you will get here channel suppose if I want to increase some boost in the high shadows you just simply click here and uh, drag drag in the image then uh, you can add so many points and uh, I have point added to this that I have recovered all all diagonal line to the to the to its original position to its by default position so in this way you can add so many points here and you can work with each one of the point so I have I hope you got the idea behind the tone curve now I have one more image and uh, this image is totally totally fresh image and I have not did any uh, do anything with this image and uh, I will directly uh, work with the tone curve for this particular image so image is looking underexposed as uh, as it shows that in the histogram it is uh, more about the left side instead of center and the right so um, then I will boost some shadows so it is just for your clar clarification that uh, every image may have the different starting point now I am changing or I am uh, going to edit this image from the tone curve directly instead of basic module so I have boost all shadows then I will fill all light in the image like this see the difference this is before and this is after if I want more contrast then I will shift dark point to the left side so in this way I can 
put contrast in the image I have chosen this image because uh, I want to show the maximum understanding about the tone curve uh, there is no change in the basic module so here is the result and it is also very beautiful this is before and this is after lot of light is there and having more contrast in the image so I hope you have got the idea behind the tone curve